welcome back to my channel for those who are new my name is Ashley J and welcome um so by the title of this video you guys are probably already like um what are you talking about Ashley but yes you guys I am done with my locks um I hate to say it in that way because I think locks are beautiful um I think it's a beautiful journey but at this time locks aren't for me it's not for my journey right now you know what I realized I feel like I haven't experienced my true growth potential and just learning my loose natural hair texture and I was like you know I have to come on YouTube I had to make a video about this because it's been something that's been eating away at me for like a couple weeks now almost a month and I was like Ashley if you have any doubt in your mind that you know you don't want to go forward with this journey you need to be honest with yourself and I was like you know what it's time to be honest with myself and I realized that locks aren't for me, not for me at this time. Like I said, locks are beautiful. I think that it is a beautiful journey to an experience if you're going down that road and you want to get locks. One thing that I truly regret about getting locks is starting them so soon without learning my natural hair better. And what I mean by learning it better, like when I first went natural in 2014, it was a learning experience. I big chopped and I really didn't know how to take care of my natural hair texture. And from 2014 to 2015 to 2016, I basically, you know, experimented with my natural hair and I never really gave it a chance to grow and flourish and to be healthy. And I was like, you know what? I kind of regret not giving my natural hair that true attention that it needs. So I kind of like did the cop out and I got locks and I'm like, you know what? I'm done with my natural hair. I know how loose natural hair works. You know, I've been natural for two years and you know what? I'm kind of over the whole loose natural thing. And I was like, I, you know, I want locks. I thought about it before. This is actually my third set of locks. And I'm like, you know what? I'm really going to do it this time. I'm tired of dealing with the damage. I'm tired, tired of dealing with the, the color damage, the heat damage. So you know what? I'm ready to just get locks. So, I end up getting locks, and don't get me wrong, I love, I love, I love my locks, but I realized, I was like, I can't have both, I can't have the best of both worlds right now. I can't have a loose texture hair, and I can't have locks at the same time. It's not going to work. And one thing I truly regret is starting it so soon. Like, I wish I would have started my lock journey maybe a couple years down the line. Once I realized, okay, I learned and I got my natural hair where I wanted it to be, and basically, you know, I played around with my loose natural hair and I feel like I didn't get that opportunity to really and truly grow my loose natural hair texture out the way I wanted it to. I, like I said, I experimented for the first two years of my natural hair journey and I created damage for my hair. And ultimately, I didn't like it. I was like done with my natural hair. I didn't want to do my natural hair. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to get locks. It's the easiest way to not have to do twist outs, wash and goes, whatever. And it was like, yeah, I kind of like took the cop out and got locks. And now six months into my new lock journey, my third lock journey, I'm kind of regretting getting locks. So this is why I'm on here telling you guys how I am moving on from my lock journey and i am sad i'm truly sad and it's been something i've been weighing like i said for a couple weeks now and i'm like should i do this should i just wait it out and see how i feel but i feel like if you're starting locks and you have an inch or ounce of doubt that you don't want to do this i wouldn't do it i wouldn't say go along and do it because i you're ultimately you're going to be wasting money if you're getting them professionally and I was getting my locks professionally maintenance so you're gonna be wasting money and you're gonna be wasting time it takes time for your hair to mature and to lock up and go through all the different phases like I'm only six months in but like I you know went through a lot through this little journey that I you know taken so far you know going through the aka ugly phase or you know just waiting for my hair to like fully lock up so it doesn't like unravel anymore I went through a locks my locks within these last six months and I kind of regret starting it so soon because I do love my locks and they are beautiful but it's just like I kind of want to experiment in a healthy direction with my loose natural hair and that's what I didn't give myself I was in nursing school I was busy with everything else in life at the time and I really didn't give my hair the care and attention that it needed and now that I do have the time and I do have the knowledge to take care of my loose natural hair I think I want to give it another another chance I want to give it another opportunity 
to get healthy natural hair and that's ultimately what I want obviously I want growth too but the beginning of growth and long hair is to be you know healthy have healthy hair this video was basically you know short and sweet to the point and showing you guys why I'm moving on from my lock journey um, I will be making another video about combing out my locks because obviously that's what I'm gonna have to do I'm not cutting my hair and starting all over from a big chop um, I actually did started taking a couple out this is one right here this is what my loose natural hair texture looks like you guys so I took like a couple out, like five or six of them out, and I was like, you know what, let me come on here and do a video and tell you guys why I'm moving on before I come on YouTube and be like, oh, so by the way, I took out my locks. So I kind of want to come on and tell you guys why exactly I'm moving on from my lock journey and going back to Loose Natural. But this is what my loose, let me pin my hair up for you guys. This is what my loose natural hair is looking like, and I was actually really excited because I was like, I hope my hair isn't like damaged, and it's not, like look at that. This is what my loose natural hair looks like. Like, so I'm like a 4B, 4C. Uh, my hair is very soft in the back and all around, actually. So, yeah, this is what my natural hair is looking like. This is where it stops at. So, almost to my collarbone, my clavicle. So, yeah, I'm really excited. Uh, like I said, I'm going to come on and do a whole video showing you guys how I actually comb out my locks. Um, last night, I just started. I was like, you know what, Ashley, if it's meant to be, if I comb out just one, if I comb out one and I feel like, okay, this is it, then I'm just going to comb out all of them. And the second I combed out the one, this one right here, I was like, you know what, this is it. I have to. Like, this is it. And... I, I'm, I'm truly hurt because it's like I want to do this but not at this time. So will I revisit locks in the future if I have the opportunity? Yes, I will. But like I said, I want to experiment with a healthy journey with my loose natural hair. Alright love, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so when I upload, you guys are notified immediately. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, bye loves.